Dorks, the Eternal Dork here with a new reaction for you. So this is a film called All the Money in the World. Now, I literally just heard about this movie maybe a, like a week or so ago through like a podcast I was listening to. And I think it's directed by Ridley Scott. That's all I know about this movie. I know absolutely nothing about this film at all. Now talking about Ridley Scott he is hit or miss great director I think visually I mean nobody can really compose a shot paint a picture probably as well as Ridley Scott especially when you look at a lot of his early works some of his later films especially when you're talking about uh, him kind of coming back to Alien with Prometheus and Alien Covenant and, and The Counselor and Kingdom of Heaven, which some people are kind of mixed on. I know some people talk about the director's uh, cut is a lot better, but it's just the fact that he's just been off and on. But you can't deny uh, his artistic prowess as a, as a director. So anytime his name is attached to a film, you, you're going to take notice. So I'm taking notice. So let's check this out and see what Ridley Scott has to offer. The throat's feeling a little. <clears throat> Michelle Williams. I just married one. I'm fighting an empire. We need to pay the ransom. They will do things to Paul that cannot be undone for any amount of money. No! I ask, as a mother, to set my boy free. We have to show we're willing to walk away. I can't walk away. I gotta say, I, I don't know how the film itself is going to turn out, but I like that trailer. I like the use of that song, and you know, you start off with the song, you get the, the narration from Michelle Williams' character really establishing who Paul Getty is and how much how much he's worth, and then you you introduce the uh, the hostage situation with them taking uh, his grandson, um, Michelle Williams' son. And uh, and it really is it's kind of just like a a, a hostage a hostage ransom film, and um, uh, again nothing new that we haven't seen, but with all the players involved, Mark Wahlberg I mean he looks good Michelle Williams she's 
always fantastic in a lot of the roles that she plays in. I mean, you can maybe, you know, argue some of the films that she's in and maybe possibly this one because, like I said, we never know what really Scott, you know, like what his take on the material is actually going to be. But I just, I like how effective uh, this trailer was and, and really drawing you in, especially in the second half of that trailer when, you know, when, when you get the inciting incident and everything that happens after the hostage situation and then here and then seeing Kevin Spacey, um, yeah, he has the prosthetic on, but looks pretty good, at least from what I'm seeing on my computer screen, uh, looks pretty good, so that yeah that that actually looks it, it, it definitely uh piqued my interest in wanting to you know possibly check this movie out um I, I just thought the use of music worked perfectly uh with this song and sometimes i like when ch when trailers kind of you know kind of chop up music and uh you know kind of change it tonally um to kind of fit the mood of the trailer so I, I kind of liked seeing that as well, like you know, how they how they use that in, in, in the later part of that. So yeah, I thought that was really really cool. So yeah, but let me know what you thought of this trailer. All the money in the world in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks at Mouth Dork, at the Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I'm the Turtle Dork. And with that, I'm out.